Hey guys, Greg C96 here with the MHC April 2017 Jungle Survival uh, player update video. So I was trying to set this up with a teleprompter, but there is no good way to make it look like I'm not reading off a teleprompter when I'm this close to the camera. So instead, I'm not even going to try to pretend I'm not reading off a notes. Here's my notes for the episode. So um, in no particular order, just the order of which I watch the videos. Uh, we're going to start off with Tim, a.k.a. Tim Obert, a.k.a. Captain Like 5150. So his episode did some weird stuff. He, uh, his world literally ran at like half speed. So his day zero was 40 minutes long. Like 20 minute mark of the episode, the sun was just starting to set. It was really weird. He had a whole bunch of block lag too. Um, alongside of that though, he got a farm. He started a base camp, found iron, got like a stack of logs. Um, but because he's my good friend, I got to make fun of him a little bit and he got like, so very little accomplished for having a doubly long day zero. Hopefully that won't hurt him in the challenge since he got basically an extra day and didn't do anything with it. Shame on you, Tim. All right. Next we got John fall 92, the guy who usually does these player update videos. Um, I'm taking his place this month. So he did some sailing on day one. He landed on a beach with like a stone wall behind it. Use that to set up a base camp. Uh, he started a farm, he did a bunch of caving, found an underground ravine, and ended, or towards the end of the episode, had some excitement killing an enderman. Uh, next up, Original Junior. He's doing the challenge a little bit different. He wasn't even sure if he was going to do it this month. Instead, he's playing it on a mod pack. Uh, based on his comment section, I do believe it is the Beyond pack, but uh, I'm not super fluent with mods, so forgive me if I'm wrong. You can correct me down in the comments. Um, he got some iron. Um, Java Dad made a very good point that I agree with. He's tricking me into watching and enjoying a modded series. Very crafty. And uh, also, as a side note, congrats on the weight loss, and I hope you continue to do well with that. Next up, we have Baker Bell, who is following with what the theme of Episode 1 seems to be for a lot of people, which is recording issues. Um, she tried to record the episode once, and her recording software was doing some weird stuff. She explains it more in her video, and it basically didn't record, so she started over. She was able to find the jungle temple she was starting based off of again. Uh, she wants to do like a multi-tree treehouse village type of thing. She found iron in the first episode, which is always a plus. Next up, we have Java Dad. So he had some recording issues as well. Um, he's playing on the new snapshot, which a couple of people are doing, and I wish I had done because it includes parrots, which is super cool. Um, he's also added some individual challenges to this month's challenge as well, so for him, he's not going to be using any armor. He wants to be naked like George of the Jungle or Tarzan. Uh, he's planning a treehouse build, like a um, lot, which I'm sure a lot of us are going to be doing. Uh, got iron, made a farm, chopped a bunch of trees, found some gold and an apple. Let's hope he puts two and two together on that one. And he made a shield, which I believe is the only shield I saw on day one. I might have seen one more, I just don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, next up is Dragon Feathers. She set up on the same river I set up on, which was cool. A bunch of people started up on that. She got her first night uh, Paul Soros Jr. style hidey hole going. Uh, she did a stair step mine. She found an underground ravine but didn't explore it, and that was about the end of her episode. Next up, we got Grandma's Gone Gaming. Uh, she found a jungle temple as well during the beginning of her episode, and I think it was a different one from Baker Bell, so there's at least... A couple of jungle temples really ne nearby for this seed. Uh, she found a whole bunch of melons. She got iron and gold from the jungle temple, and she found a cave that she spent the rest of her episode in while running from a skeleton. And after my MHC experience with skeletons, I, I got really scared for her. Next up is Dark Age Man, or Dark Age Man, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, uh, correct me in the comments. Uh, pretty severe lag to start it off. He was really, really laggy for a good chunk of the episode, so that might present a little added challenge. Um, but on top of that, he did a very good job of finding a whole bunch of iron and started a base in a ravine. Could be kind of dangerous, but should be good for resources. Next up, we got Dadcraft73. He is also playing on the snapshot, just like Javadad, uh, Javadad. So he has parrots in his video, which is pretty cool. Uh, he started a waterfront property, he found a kind of big watering hole that he started on, started a farm, has not found iron yet, but he uh, he was picking a fight with Java Dad, making fun of Java Dad's kind of lame watering hole. 
So we'll see how Javadad responds in future episodes. Next up is the Load Central crew, which is this month Baker Bell, Dan Lokar, Jessica Katz, and Carly MD. Um, they had a big farm. They found a zombie spawner in their episode, which was pretty cool. And they had a rather interesting conversation about cats. I can't really sum it up. Just go watch the video if you want to learn more. Uh, next up was myself, because I recorded this so long ago, I forgot what I did. So I had to go back and watch my episode and take notes. I found a ravine, started a melon farm, got a bunch of iron, almost walked into lava twice. Found an underground cave, found gold and redstone, and had some webcam issues. Yeah. Next up was Nobody's LP. Nobody's LP on the subject of recording issues, had recording issues. His whole episode one is a black screen. Uh, but he's playing this month with All The Way J and Katie Reed. So instead of giving notes about him, we're going to go to All The Way J, who is also in the challenge. Uh, started a farm, and they also have a waterfront base camp. So starting with the next episode, Nobody's LP should be back in it with his videos as well. But they're both playing it together anyways. Next up, we got New Azusa. Uh, started a treehouse, spent most of the episode building that treehouse, but got pretty far along on it and started a farm. Uh, next up, Outfoxed. Started a farm, uh, first night hidey hole, got some iron, um, got a few apples, and he was the second guy to make a shield. So I thought it was more than one person. Next up, we got Scotty Garbius, who or Scotty Garbius, there's not an extra eye in there, I keep trying to put one in. Uh, he did a beam stream for the first couple of days of the challenge, which was pretty cool. Uh, he started on the same river as me. He started pretty early in the episode with a very daring ravine entrance, jumping from the top right down to the bottom. He has armor in day one and found a bunch of iron and redstone. Um, next up is Granny's Got Game. She did a whole bunch of wood cutting to start the episode and then did some mining through most of it in the dark. So that was kind of scary. You never know what's going to spawn in the dark. Uh, next up we got Honeysuckle, who gathered a bunch of wooden food for the first episode. She had quite a bit of block lag too, so let's hope that doesn't continue on through the challenge. Um, I got a whole bunch of cobble and started to mine, so she's pretty good on wood and stone to start off this challenge. And last but not least is Emma Karn. So he plans to live in a treehouse, much like Tarzan. Um, he was pretty excited and confused by watermelons and cocoa beans. Uh, started building a treehouse. He started mining right around the beginning of night, which is pretty much bog standard for everyone. He found coal, ran from a couple of creepers, and the highlight of his episode must have been trying to make a furnace out of gravel. Um, overall, all the episodes were pretty entertaining for day one. If I missed your episode, because this is as of currently 9.22 p.m. on Tuesday, April 4th, I believe I got everyone's episode one. Um, that being said, if I missed your episode one, please let me know down in the comments. I'm sure Michael Deering will let me know in the comments if I missed a couple. Um, make sure you're putting the hashtag mhc underscore 2017 underscore april in both your tags and your descriptions so that they show up hopefully on the indexing if youtube decides to cooperate which it has not really done so far um but yeah and if i know that you are in the challenge like i know i missed yours i will specifically going forward i will be specifically just going to the channels of people who are in the challenge jump cut just in case I wasn't super clear, what I meant is, uh, because I wasn't super clear, uh, going forward in the challenge, I will be specifically going to the competitors' individual channels on each day so that I can make sure I'm actually finding all of the videos as opposed to just doing the hashtag search. So let me know if I missed your first video so that I can get you on the list of I need to make sure I go watch those videos. And I know we have a couple of people who are going to be starting the recording a little bit late, so I think... Um, I believe that is The Real Infinite and Kashka are going to be starting the recording a little bit late and joining in, I think, this upcoming weekend, they were saying. So yeah, that's going to be it for this first MHC player update. Probably this one was a little long-winded, but uh, yeah. So good luck to everyone this month, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you're still in the mood to watch some more, why don't you check out one of these previous videos here? Or, if you want to watch more later, but not right now, that's cool too. If you click on one of my lovely pieces of wall art here, you can either subscribe to myself or to the Big Box of Gamers channel. 
just make sure after you subscribe you click that little bell notification icon there to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.